Hi everyone. These are some uh, hand cranks collections. Uh, uh, they used for different different purposes uh, like a bar- barbecue blowers, uh, hand drill, sewing machine and manual winch. Uh, today I'm going to make a hand crank generator using one of the hand gear. Uh, let's start this. This is how I'm going to assemble the hand crank generator using a permanent magnet DC motor and a gear system from an AC motor also a DC DC converter I got this gear system from an AC gear motor and I attach a hand crank and easy to operate manually. This is a universal joint to couple the DC motor and the gear system. This is a super bright searchlight. I'm going to use it to test the hand crank generator. This is a DC ampere volt wattmeter. I'm going to test the generator. These are the 500 farad 2.7 voltage super capacitors assembled in series to make it uh, as a 13.5 voltage power bank. This is a bridge rectifier. and an aluminum heat sink for the bridge rectifier. Let's see this generator how it works. Okay, let's test this. On an average hand crank speed, it can generate up to 7 voltage. Okay, let's charge the super capacitors. There's no rectifier in between, that's why the power reverse from supercapacitor to the motor and drive the motor.
let's use the DC DC converter to see how much voltage I can get it from the hand crank generator. Now you see when I'm using this DC DC converter, I can get more than 12 voltage from the hand crank generator. Now you see I'm using the project rectifier in between a hand crank generator and a super, super capacitor power bank. The power cannot backflow from the super capacitor. So let's see how much voltage I can charge on the super capacitors. Let's test an LED light to see how long the charge can last. Now I feel tight on the hand crank generator because the super capacitors takes a lot of power from the generator. So I have to push hard on the hand crank in order to get a maximum voltage. From a few cranks, the LED light still on. It's good for an emergency situation. The good thing of supercapacitors is uh, they are not like batteries. The batteries have only few thousand cycles of lifetime, but supercapacitor they have millions of li cycles lifetime. If you don't charge the batteries in every two months or three months, they will be dead. But supercapacitors, if you don't charge them for a long time, no problem. You can charge whenever you need, you can use them whenever you need, you can keep it as di discharge for a long time. So it's good for emergency generators. Emergency generators, they are used only in emergency situations. If you have supercapacitors built in an emergency generator, you don't need to maintain them. Like a batteries, you don't need to keep the supercapacitors in a charge conditions, or you don't need to charge the supercapacitor every two months or three months. Whenever you need it, you can use the hand crank to charge them and use it. I charge the supercapacitors up to six voltage. Now I'm gonna use this DC to DC converter. To step up the voltage and see how much voltage I can get it. Uh, that's 13.46 voltage. Thanks for watching. By subscribe, like, and share. You can help this channel to grow. Please. Thanks. See you on next video.